Peace to the YouTube fam. Peace to the Bulldog is in the universe. And most especially, peace and blessings to all my Cam Glamorati comrades. Y'all know who it is. It's the one and only Keeper of the Flame, student of the game, Ray Imperial. I'm here with an edition, afternoon edition of the Imperial Diaries. And I'd like to talk a little bit about Feed Up, how we do, what we do, and why we do. Um, as most of y'all know, I feed raw. And uh, it is not uncommon for me to feed twice in a day, right? I'll start off with just a leg quarter. That leg quarter usually comes after the dogs have been out, emptied, and worked. Light workout for the day, right? And then if there's another workout during the day, I'll come back and I'll feed uh, the dog man stew. You know what I mean? Which is based with the ground beef and then whatever else we're adding into that ground beef. You know what I mean? And that includes our vegetable fats, our uh, animal fats. Um, uh, it'll include our fruit mash. Um, it will include uh, any supplements that the dogs are getting. So all of that goes into the dog man stew. Um, but for the first feeding of the day, right, um, we serve pretty much just chicken, right? Just a lay quarter uh etc so what you see in front of you here is a whole chicken and on days when the dogs work especially heavy um i choose to feed the whole chicken as opposed to the regular leg quarters that come out of the 10 pound bag and the reason for that is the leg quarters that come out of the 10 pound bag are usually going to be you know pretty precisely trimmed right whereas with the whole chicken I can cut this thing down in a way that the dog gets a little bit more than the that average leg quarter, right? So because uh you know Raina did her chain chain work today, uh Solo was out actually spring pole with the chain on, um, and that was after like, you know, working the chain for a minute. So uh what we're gonna do today is we're going to actually feed Solo this entire half a chicken, right, with the chicken wings. I do not remove the chicken wings. I know a lot of people have taboos about chicken wings. I don't serve the chicken wings by themselves ever. Normally what I'll do is I'll cut this this uh, breast in half. Solo Solo get one half one day, one half the next day. Um, but Solo being a bigger dog, these Camelot red nose you know, brolic ass dogs, you really have to feed them. You got to keep something in them. You will not like what happens if the dogs are not really fed, you know, kind of on a regular, you know, like, like they start looking at you like you, you know what I mean? Like you dinner, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> um, to keep the dogs happy, man, we like to make sure we feed when we work. Working that dog, if you're working that dog, feed that dog. Put those nutrients back. So, the reason we are going with the whole chicken with Bull and Raina as well is because we have the whole bottom half of the chicken, as you guys can see, right? And this is going to be divided right down the middle here, right? And that's going to give us two leg quarters, right? So, these leg quarters are pretty much what they would normally get on a regular basis, except... When you flip this bad boy over, because you have the whole chicken, you got all this extra, you know, you got a little extra animal fat down here. You got your so-called tail down there. But most importantly, you got this extra breast meat in here. You See that? Now, you could carve the chicken in such a way so that that breast meat stays attached to the breast. But I like to, you know. Because the dogs have been working, Bull had a dry day yesterday. So we can go ahead, chop this bad boy in half, and let them have at it with that little extra breast meat. So that's how on the days when the dogs really work, work, you know what I mean? Um, and, and I want to feed a little bit extra without going overboard. I go to the whole chicken, right? Now, pound for pound, this is about a five pound chicken. Um, you're going to pay about the same price for it that you pay for a bag of leg quarters. So, 
pound for pound, the lay quarters are going to give you twice as much, right? Usually you get a 10 pound bag of uh, lay quarters for about six or seven dollars, depending upon where you're located in the country. Um, some places are as low as five dollars, um, but I've never really heard it like eight dollars or more, right? Um, so and that averages out to roughly um, 89, 99, roughly around 89 cents a pound. So that's why the lay quarter, the bags of lay quarters are indispensable. Like we, we, we're not getting rid of those. You know what I mean? Got a bag of lay quarters there. And got another whole chicken there. We even got some chicken feet in there. So you definitely want to uh, keep with that. We just use this whole chicken on these days when we want to get a little bit extra in the dog for the first feeding. There's a good chance we're going to be going out later. We're going to be hitting the woods and things like that. So that second feeding, right, with the with the ground beef and the dog man stew and all the, all the ingredients, that'll be coming. That'll be coming after that uh, after that second run, so that they have a little something to keep them hold them over till tomorrow morning when uh you know we go and get that work again. But uh, that's just a little bit about uh. What we do, how we do, why we do when it comes to the feed. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, let me know when you work your dog. Uh, do you feed first and then work the dog? Or do you work the dog first and then feed? Hit me up in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Ray Imperial. Thanks for watching. And remember y'all, keep the heat.